Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will learn or we will continue to learn about decline curve analysis. And today's topic is about DCA for using exponential decline. Okay, we have three exponents, three methods of decline curve analysis, exponential decline and hyperbolic decline and harmonic decline. And today's video is about exponential DCA. Okay, we will start with this formula. Okay, so this is the basic formula of decline curve analysis. Uh, here, the formula and the description from I use, I take from some book and the unit is still used for gas, but actually it can also be used for oil. Okay, so QT is gas flow rate at time t, or it, it can also be oil flow rate at time t, for example, barrels per day. And QI is the initial gas or oil flow rate, QI here. T is, of course, time. It can be in days, months, or even years. Just make sure that you use consistent unit for time. And DI is the initial decline rate. The unit is per time unit. In this case, per day or per month or per year. And B is the ARPS decline curve exponent here. All right, so it's actually quite easy. QT is Q1 divided by something. And the something is one plus the exponent multiplied by decline rate multiplied by the time and powered by one per B. And we have three cases. The first one is exponential if B equals to zero. And if you just put B equals to zero in this equation, you will get formula which is a bit more, a bit simpler. QT equals to Q1 multiplied by the exponential of minus decline rate multiplied by the time. And hyperbolic, if you have B between zero and the unity, and you maintain the original form of the equation. And lastly, for harmonic, B equals to one, then the initial formula can be reduced, can be simplified to be this form. All right. And now let's talk a little bit about decline model determination. So if you have data, flow rate, and time, if the, the decline follows exponential decline, then it will follow this trend. So if you plot logarithmic flow rate in your vertical axis against time, at your horizontal axis. So it's semi-log and you get a linear shape, then it is decline, exponential decline. But if you plot using this one, so it's normal, no logarithmic, but now is, it is cumulative oil on your vertical axis against flow rate at your horizontal axis and, uh, and you get linear shape, this one, linear trend, then it is exponential decline. Okay, so it's quite easy, all right? But if your decline is harmonic in trend, then you will get linear trend. If you plot in log log plot flow rate, on your vertical axis against the time on your horizontal axis. But if you plot flow rate on your horizontal axis against the oil cum cumulative oil on your vertical axis, but the cumulative oil is in normal, okay? Normal, it's not logarithmic and you get linear trend, then it is harmonic decline. But if the decline is hyperbolic in trend, then it is a little bit more complicated. 
And yeah, maybe in the third video, we will discuss about hyperbolic decline curve analysis. All right, so I will demonstrate that, what I said before, maybe you still don't understand, but yeah, let's get this one. So if I have flow rate and time data, and then I just plot the flow rate in logarithmic scale, okay, on my vertical axis against my time on the horizontal axis, but it's normal scale, and I get linear trend, then it is exponential, okay? Or if I just plot NP, cumulative oil, against flow rate, both of them are in normal scale, and I get linear trend, and it is, yes, it is exponential decline. And we will try to use that. Okay, so let's go here. So this is the result. I've done this, but I will try it again from zero. 